So welcome to another video. Uh, in this video we're going to be creating this Jumbotron area on our WordPress site. And if we have time we'll start on the rest of the index page. And what we'll do is make this dynamically get the latest post and put it in this Jumbotron. So before I begin I just want to say uh, I, I really do apologize for the lack of videos lately. I haven't uploaded for like five weeks. And considering I used to do a few videos a week, maybe three, four videos a week, uh, it's just not really possible for me anymore. Haven't really got time to do it. Um, I have other sort of priorities at the moment. I will try and get back into videos now. Uh, I've got a bit more time lately, but so yeah. So anyway, this is what we're going to be creating. I'm going to carry on with the index page. Uh, so yeah. So if you jump into your code, uh, into your index.php file. Uh, remember, in the last episode, we ended off with this in our header file, and in our footer file, we had all of this. So, in the index file, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by creating the, uh, some PHP code. So, we're going to do PHP, and then inside here, I'm going to go on a new line and tab in, and we're going to do query underscore posts brackets, sorry, posts brackets. And then inside here we're going to put uh, speech marks, like apostrophes, and then posts underscore per underscore page, we're going to set this equal to 1. What it's going to do is it's going to set the number of posts on this page equal to 1. Now, you might be wondering, well, we want more than 1, we want like 10 on this page. We're actually talking about this Jumbotron at the moment, and then later we'll reset it back to the default of like 10 for this. So we only want one, so we want the one latest one to go into here. We don't want to be listing like 10 in our Jumbotron. This is for the latest one. So we're going to set that like that. And then put a semicolon after that, obviously. And then in here, what we're going to do is while, and then brackets, have underscore posts, brackets. And this is basically saying whilst there are posts remaining that haven't been like displayed, and then colon, the underscore posts and then brackets semicolon and then we'll close off the PHP so what this is basically saying is it's, it's going to run this loop whilst there are posts remaining you don't need to worry about this too much um, if you have a look on the WordPress documentation if you really want to look into what all of this means but this is just kind of a beginner series so I'm not really going to dive into that too much and then what I'm going to do here is PHP and then close it off here I'm going to do end while semicolon and then, then I'm going to do wp underscore reset underscore query and then semicolon make sure you put these brackets here because it's a function so basically what we're doing here is ending off the while loop and then we're also resetting this and also resetting the post count so this means that the post per page will be reset back to the default of like 10 or whatever the user sets it as so we'll reset that back to 10 and also we'll reset the post count back to one. Okay, so in between these, uh, this space here, what we're gonna have is a div with a class equal to uh, Jumbotron. So this is gonna be our Jumbotron here. And then obviously we need to close this off. Then inside here, what I'm gonna do is H2, and then close that off. And this is where the post header is gonna go. And inside here, we're going to put ahref equals, and then slash a. And in this part here, we want to actually get the URL of that page. So we're going to do PHP, so PHP tags in here, and then the underscore permalink. By the way, all these functions are just built into WordPress. Not built into PHP, but built into WordPress. And this is just going to echo out the URL to this page. So it's just going to pretty much put in the code here for the web address. Um, and then we also want to get the page title, which is going to be another PHP tag. And it's going to be the underscore title. Brackets, semicolon, of course. And then we're done. We've done that bit anyway. So I'm going to save that and refresh it on my server. If I refresh here, uh, we've got an error. Sorry, this is the underscore post, not plural. So, mistake there. Uh, again, I'm just going to refresh it on the server. And there we go. 
there's the the title of the most recent blog post next thing we want to do is get that like simplified description and if I click on this if you look at the URL it's now changing to post number 15 since that's the most recent post ID so anyway now we're going to do the actual paragraph bit so now I'm going to put paragraph tags and inside here we've got a really simple uh, tag and this is going to be the underscore excerpt again another PA, another WordPress function which is really useful it gets us like a minimize things like I don't know how many characters it gets but it gets like a certain number of characters and then it will put dot 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 at the end of it so if we press yes and there and there it is you see it puts dot 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 in brackets at the end here when it needs to cut it short so it puts like a certain amount of words or characters or something and then it simplifies it so we didn't really want to have the entire post here but we didn't we also wanted to have a bit of a description so that's what that does okay so that's it for the jumbotron now um, I'm going to cut this video off here since our jumbotron is completely done because uh, I'd like to break this up into separate sections a bit better so yeah so thank you for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe if you found it useful I will try and get a couple more videos done hopefully tonight so yeah so I'll see you next time